Hey and welcome, this is day 20 and in this episode you will learn how to build your own Fusion 360 Kit Bash library using Boolean operations so that you can reuse already existing objects or service details and apply them to a new model. Let's take a look. I have prepared two samples for this demonstration. The first one is this emergency break and the second one is this sci-fi surface detail. So let's start with the emergency break first. And when you take a look at the timeline, you can already tell that this one is not a real beauty regarding the design process because I was turning it into a component at the very end of the process. So this means that I have already broken rule number one which means that I would have to create a new component before I start the actual design process. But anyway, let me move the history marker over to the very left, just to give you an idea of how easy it is to build something like this. It doesn't take longer than 10 minutes. So I started with a simple box, made a sketch and some extrusions. I did the same for the indentation on uh, this side here followed by a few move and copy commands to place and position these faces. Then I've mirrored this indentation over to the right, applied a few fillets, followed by an additional uh, construction plane and a few sketches. And I've used one of these sketch profiles to extrude it along a path to create the handle. Then I've uh, closed the handle at the bottom and continued with the uh, piece in the center. Again, a few simple sketch lines, an extrusion, uh, one or two fillets. And then I've drawn a circle on one of these faces on the side and turned it into a screw. And then I've used the uh, mirror command again to copy it over to the right, followed by an, an additional mirror command or two additional mirror command actually to create a copy of this set. And last but not least, I was turning everything into a component that now contains two bodies, one for the handle and one body for everything else. Next, we can already use this model and uh, turn it into a stamp or a negative. So this one here is our positive model or our master model. And all I have to do now is to create a new component. So before I do this, I make sure that I'm in the top level assembly. Then I go to the assembly drop-down menu, new component. And uh, one thing that's important to remember here is that the box that I'm going to create next has to comprise or to enclose all of these elements here. And for this reason, I started at the lowest point of this indentation. So in this case, it's this plane here. I enter sketch mode by hitting the L key, bring up the shortcut menu, switch to the two point rectangle, or let's change it to the center rectangle. And then I draw one that approximately encloses all of the elements. I exit the sketch mode by hitting the Q key. Let's hide the first component so that I can extrude this guy like so. And when I show the first component again, I can make sure that this one also encloses all of the elements uh, underneath like so and then I confirm this. All that's left to do now is to bring up the combine command and set the operation to cut. This one here is my uh, target body and these two bodies are my tool bodies. I also make sure that keep tools is checked because I do not want to delete our initial uh, design. Then I confirm this hide the first component and end up with something like this. Now the result that I got here does not really look like the emergency break from the beginning. And this is mainly because it seems like the handle is missing, but thanks to Boolean operations, it is of course still there. So if I go to inspect section analysis and pick this plane, uh, you can see that the handle or the negative form of the handle still exists inside this body. I can now use this stamp to reproduce copies of our emergency break on the surface of a new object. So let me create a new design first. I turn off the design history. Uh, this allows me to simply copy and paste the stamp 
from the other document into this one. But before this, I create a box on the top plane at some height. Then I switch back to our initial design, select the body, control C, control V. Let's move this up a little bit. And here it is important that the surfaces are lining up. So this means that I have to pick the deepest surface in this indentation and line it up with the top surface of our newly created box. So for this reason, I choose the point to point tool again, select this face and this point here, switch to the free move and move the stamp over to the left. Then I confirm this, select this body, open up the create drop down menu pattern, rectangular pattern. For the direction, I select this edge, move the stamp over to the left, and maybe also let's add another one like so. And then I confirm this command, bring up the combine tool select the big box as my target box and uh, as my tools i'm going to select all four of them this time i make sure that keep tools is unchecked because i want to delete these guys confirm this and all that's left to do now is to use the extrude function and move this face down a little bit like so so that we end up with four perfect copies of our emergency break. As you can see, it's an easy, fast and super effective way to add surface details to an object without having to build all of these parts again and again. And uh, for this reason, it also makes sense to create a library of these stamps that contains um, a set of tools that you are going to use all the time. And this works especially great when you do some quick concept modeling. So you can reuse stuff that you have previously built and create highly complex and highly detailed surfaces fast. And because it's that easy, let's repeat the steps again with the second model that I've prepared for this video. So. It already sits in its own component. I create a new one, start a new sketch on uh, this plane. Again, a center rectangle. Make sure that it encloses all of the details. And then let's do an extrusion like so. I switch the direction to two sided. So I'll make another extrusion at the bottom. Something like this should be fine. The operation again is set to new body. Then I bring up the combine tool. This is my target body. This is my tool body. And the result looks something like this. As I can see here in the preview, everything seems to be fine. I also select keep tools, confirm this. And then we can create a new a document again. Before this, I already select and copy this body. Control N on the keyboard. And then let's create a new component first. And also here I have to disable the design history so that I can simply copy and paste a new part into this document. I select the top plane, draw a box, add some thickness. Then I hit Control V on the keyboard. And like we have done before, it's important that we align the deepest point of the stamp with the top surface of our box. Let's move this over to the left a little bit. So maybe we can place two of them. So I select our stamp, create pattern, rectangular pattern. This is my direction, move it over. For the quantity, let's lower it down to two, confirm this. And again, let's run the combine command. This time, 
The big box is my target body. These two stamps are my tool bodies. I do not want to keep them. Confirm this. And again, let's uh, extrude or let's cut this top plane away by bringing up the extrude command. Then I slightly move it down before I shift click on one of these two faces so that the cut perfectly aligns with the already existing face. And then we are done two copies without actually having to draw or having to build something. All right then, that's it for today's video. I hope this episode was helpful. If you like the content, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.